In this episode, we're going to cover floating outputs of power supplies. Now, a floating output of a power supply is considered to be when neither the plus V out or the negative V out terminals of the outputs are physically connected to ground through a DC connection or any other connection of the power supply itself. This means that the output of the power supply is isolated from the chassis ground and in turn, it may be able to withstand a high voltage between output to ground. Having a floating output from a power supply is highly desirable in many applications. It gives system designers the flexibility of powering the system without needing to ground the output. There are some loads that are especially sensitive to excessive ground loops and floating outputs will allow for each load to have a separate DC path return. This prevents each load from sharing a common ground, which is one of the reasons for ground loops to form. Another benefit for floating outputs is reduced leakage current. See, the floating output of a power supply adds an additional isolation barrier from the input to the output of the power supply. And this isolation barrier introduces additional impedance that can minimize the leakage current back to earth ground. So for floating outputs, designers can create both positive and negative output voltages using multiple floating output power supplies. Let's look at this chart right here by where we connect the minus V out of power supply one to the plus V out of power supply two, and a common reference is now obtained. Now, when we measure the common reference of minus V out of power supply two, we can see a negative voltage. This is only possible when you use power supplies with floating outputs. Now, for more information on floating outputs of power supplies, give us a call here at TRC. For more power supply information, stay plugged in to our next episode.